previously on Jet Set Zero. All right, so tonight I got a dollar twenty-five for dinner. If I can do something out of the ordinary as a job in South America, I'd be all over it. But the fact that I'm in a city kind of sucks and kind of made me not want to get a job. The nice thing about Ecuador is that it's a small country, but at the same time you have very different landscapes. It is every shade of green imaginable, every color in nature. Ecuador, you're fucking awesome! Like you never think it's gonna happen to you. Like you're like, oh, I'm impervious. I know, I know what I'm doing. Someone has been withdrawing money from my account. It looks like it's about four hundred eighty dollars that I can't account for. About five hundred bucks, and I'm out of an apartment in like five days. So not the best timing. These problems can be like almost crippling when you're on the road because you have no one to run to. These are all the, fault, the fraudulent transactions. You know, I got my money back, my bank, you know, reimbursed me. You know, I'm, I'm fine again, but it, it was definitely uh, annoying and not the best timing. I think when you travel, you're more aware. You know, you're, you're in the moment. You are not going through the motions of your daily life. You're not clocking into work. You're not checking your email at work. You're not doing that stuff. You know, you're actually conscious and you're awake. So you are more prone to, to the spiritual feelings. People still need spirituality. People still need to find a quiet place to reflect and to kind of find peace of mind. And whether that's at a temple, a church, or even you know, on top of a mountain or by a river, you know, it doesn't really matter where it is as long as you find that place for yourself. For me, it's important to find a pool wherever I go because it's the only sports that make me feel, you know, good and relaxed at the same time. I don't go there just to exercise. I go there because I need it. Otherwise, I don't feel good, you know, I feel like tense. I was raised Catholic, so I used to go to church with my family. I was like, I'll just, you know, I'll just come in and, you know, see and just sit there and, and like, <laughs> it reminded me of home, just because I used to do this with my family, you know. But then I've also talked to Ecuadorians of our age, and I mean, they had the same questions, you know, and doubts as many other Christians in France or Catholic, you know, in France or Europe, so. I've seen some things, but I know more than I've seen, you know. This is the ayahuasca plant and it's a vine which usually wraps around trees or whatever it's growing around and the bark is used to make this brew that you then drink and have some visions as part of the ceremony and it's it's hard to put in words because so much of it is sensations and feelings and thoughts and images and I feel like I'm tapping into these ancient, you know, native ways of working with, with Mother Nature to find those answers that we're all looking for. Five pieces of blood off before we, our landlord sees it. And what better way to take blood off than a knife? Yeah. Um, things I didn't accomplish while I was here that I wanted to accomplish. Um, one, didn't get a wife. I, I had like six wives and I didn't know which one to pick from, so I just left. Uh, didn't go to a wedding. Um, I decided to leave keto. Just because the money, money, 
was, is it? <laughs> Dude, I don't have any money, so and I didn't get a job, and, I, and I'm s still happy that I didn't get a job. I had like ten bucks in my account for like a week or two, and then um, my brother saved the day, so that was nice. You know, it's cool and all, but even right now as we're filming this this interview, like. I have to keep my eyes filled and I have to have a knife next to me at all times because people are just shady in Kido. And um, cameras got stolen once, everyone's pretty much got harassed. Yeah, I mean, it's just not homely. It's heavy, man. There's like, there's like five and there's like a block of people over there. There's like more. We should go on the roof. It's like five against ten. Yeah, right. Let's get down here, man. It's, it's Kito Sud, Kito South sends its regards. <laughs> this is light. The whole bullshit started down there at the bar in the street. And they just kind of walked this way. Uh, so these guys in the south, Kito Sui, just walked that way. And over there beefing with his gone. So pretty crazy. Crazy uh, for a rainy some Saturday afternoon. You know, we're so consumed with our own happiness, trying to make ourselves happy and the over-consuming culture always providing another glimpse, another image, another carrot that, we, that they tell us, if we just take this, mm -hmm. we'll somehow find our true happiness. And, and most of us, because we lack spiritual training of any kind, it's, for most people, a helpless situation, really. Rakarima adota, Rukorira onotan, Korotaya arama, Rataya ramontotan, Shakuroto yaruta, Ararama arontan, Shikirita yarama, Rarimana ndetai. Warmi raso toyota Goromana ndeta Rataya ramaneta Rutaya romanda Oh.